We talk about Sabbath, its recreation part of Sabbath. Before I come to study Westminster's Confessions, of course, Sabbath, we do anything we like, of course, including worship God on Sunday. And then we, you know, and then we pretty much relax, recreation, which is, you would assume this part of it. But Westminster's uh, Catechism, larger Catechism, uh, writes something very, very strange here. The larger catechism forbids all need say well uh, in the latter view forbids all needless works, words, and thoughts about worldly enjoyments and recreation. Westminster's larger larger catechism, one one nine. So they are saying that I love Westminster's confession catechism absolutely, but this is just one area which pretty much you can disagree with and. Uh, I'm I'm getting all this material from Dr. John Frame as well. So he's a, he's a legit reformed theologian. He said this, you know, Westminster Confession a catechism said we should uh, we should cease from worldly empl employment. I agree, but worldly recreations. Now, I think that recreation have different types. If you put worldly, I agree. You know, but what are the godly <laughs> recreation there for? Okay, let's look at Isaiah 58, verse 13, verse 14. The very words from God's mouth. Let's see. If if you turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, and the holy day of the Lord honorable. If you honor it, not going your own ways, or seeking your own pleasure, or, taking, or talking idly, then you shall... Take delight in the Lord, and I'll make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father, and the mouth of, of the Lord has spoken. There's a tremendous blessing that comes with observing the Sabbath. What is the goal of Sabbath? So from the scripture here, it is clear. Um, you know, if... Sabbath is a day we turn away from doing our own pleasure. The things that we like to do, that we've been doing every day of the week. And, and set aside a day called Sabbath and called a delight. So we got to enjoy Sabbath. How can you just enjoy Sabbath without recreation? Uh, and call the Sabbath the delight of the holy day of the Lord honorable. So the key thing here is if you honor it, not going your own ways or seeking your own pleasure or talking idly, then you shall take delight in the Lord. So basically a day of Sabbath is to delight in the Lord. Take delight in the Lord. Um, not to take, take, um, take, uh, take pleasures of the world or ourselves. So essentially it's God-centered. It's a day sort of peculiar, a special, that you focus on the Lord and you re recreate, enjoy, enjoy, and dance and, and love and, and all this stuff. But in the Lord, but not to dance and, and, and shout in the things of the world. Okay, so <clears throat> now let, let's do some exegesis here. If you honor it, this is verse 13 and 14, okay, Isaiah 58. Uh, if you honor it, not going your own ways or seeking your own pleasure. The word, the word pleasure occurs twice in verse 13. Okay, the word pleasure um, is not recreation per se. In the Hebrew word, the word pleasure comes from the Hebrew hefetz. Hefetz, which often refers simply to the will of a human being or God. Okay, so... If you're seeking your own pleasure, means you're seeking your own will, then it is, it is wrong. That's what it means. It's not just pleasure. The contrast, Isaiah 58, 13 to 40, is not between doing pleasant things and unpleasant things, but rather doing your will, our will, and God's. Indeed, the passage itself emphasizes the Sabbath is to be a pleasant experience a delight. So, so this is doing God's will or not go, your will or God's will. In other words, Sabbath really is a day that God takes precedence. 
God should take precedence over every day of our lives, of the week, of the month, of the years, etc. But on that particular day, special precedence for the Lord, if you like. And also, that's the day we go to worship the Lord our God. Okay, um. So, so recreation then. If the recreation is pleasant, enjoyable activity as opposed to toil, John Frame wrote, then the Sabbath itself is by nature recreational. Therefore, recreation is a form of rest. Okay, so recreation is a form of rest. Therefore, it should be allowed, and it is part of the very nature of Sabbath. Um, there are other things like. Uh, I want to talk about is is uh, is what he wrote about in Leviticus the and the Levites okay what um in uh, in Nehemiah chapter eight verse nine to verse ten all right um the Levites are teaching the law to Israel newly regathered from exile it is a holy day verse nine like a Sabbath there's. <clears throat> There's a solemn, solemn, sol solemnity about it as God convicts the people of sin. But the Levites urge the people to make a feast of it, to enjoy good food and drink and not to mourn. See, they celebrate. Sabbath is also a day of celebration. Jacob points out how often God's... Jacob is one of the uh, theologian writer. What is his name? Let me see. Uh, he, he, he points out that... He points out that... Uh, <clears throat> He points out that um, how often God's holy days are feasts, times of recreation, as well as times of learning and worship. So Sabbath is also a day of feast, time of recreation, as well as learning and worship. You know, the Sabbath we have seen celebrates God as creator, redeemer, and consummator of history. So Jacob shows that whenever God's people celebrate these great events they play, Celebration is part of recreation. And we're supposed to celebrate on the Lord's Day, the Sabbath day. You know, I mean, if you compare the dancing, Frame wrote, uh, compare the dancing accompanying the bringing of, Ar of the Ark of Jerusalem, the emphasis in the Psalms on rejoicing before God, the singing and dancing following the deliverance of Egypt in Exodus 15, the rejoicing in the New Testament over sinners being found, Luke 15, and Jesus partying in the Gospels. Come on. We need recreation. We need celebration. Recreation. The Sabbath day is also a day we celebrate God. God's great deeds. That is to, to, uh, to do the pleasures of the Lord. Okay. The eschatological passages of Scripture are full of feasting and song. How can the Sabbath, which celebrates creation, redemption, and consummation, be any different? So it is important to keep in mind that by very nature, by its very nature, Sabbath is a feast, not a fast. So it's a feast, not a fast celebration. It's a time of abundance, not deprivation. It should be a delight, a time of play and joy. This is, of course... Difference between feasting before the Lord and mere secular entertainment. Now, we don't want to go too far to sort of use that as an excuse to have worldly parties and all this. You know, that is celebrating of the worldly style. We are celebrating before the Lord, because of the Lord on Sabbath day. Amen. Sabbath is a holy day unto the Lord. So Sabbath holy recreation should be focused on the Lord. Let me give you one more thing here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so this, this is basic, basically the, the theology of recreation in Sabbath, and there should be celebration, not a fasting period, a celebration of the Lord in the presence of God. Amen.